okay this new tutorial is gonna be a tutorial on gain stage in my live drum songs for a mix in the XR18 I'm not mixing the channels of the drums I'm not looking to EQ or gating or compression or anything I'm just basically gonna be setting up gain stages that is going to give me a good overall look at what the mics would be coming in to my x 18 for this demonstration i'm using a sure sm57 mic up to a monitor that is going to be collecting the live song and feeding it into the xr18 um in a real live situation you would have preferably a kick drum mic or SM57 for your snare maybe a SM for the hi-hats and you would probably have um, mics for your toms and your overhead which could be condensers or whatever but for this I'm using the SM57 to capture each channel in the XR that I have labeled Kick, snare, hi hats, tom, so and so. While I'm actually doing the gain staging, I would have the mic muted because the mic would be picking back up the songs of the drums and would cause phase cancellation. So after I done, I will come back and I will show what I'm doing in terms of uh, what I did in terms of each channel you would realize it on the on the xr18 i'm using the analog to digital and not a usb so i'm not bringing i have my songs in reason playing back live out my speaker and going back to the xr i'm not using the usb um to do that if you look at the usb trim and the my gain you can see the their ratings are different in terms of this one is negative 12 and this one has negative 18 so i'm going to be using the live input to capture the settings that i'm looking for in another tutorial i'll probably do it with my usb returns and see how i could balance the songs between them which is like a 6 db different so the songs coming back from the the surface seems to have more headroom than the analog signal so with this i would mute the microphone i lower my mic and i'll go through the whole process and then when i'm done i would mute everything and summarize what i did
so that is basically um, what I did with my game structure you could see here I'm about I added a lot to get right around this area here and the snare I added this much to get around here my high hats I added even some more but I, want, I didn't get that high and my thumbs I kept them low I didn't even go this further up since um with all the mutants up but what I want to also say is that you have to this is doing one drum at a time and a drummer would be playing all these parts would be being played at the same time so you would have to take into consideration after you start with your kick and you get it hidden around let's see this area here and you bring your snare even though I use this much Gain. maybe I would want to back the gain uh, because you're looking at a lot of bleeding that's going to take place between your drums especially if you have a separate uh, mic for your hi-hats and you have a mic for your snare you're going to get drum bleed so in that instance even though I have this much gain on my snare I may end up having to use a lot less gain on my hi-hat so that I don't have it interacting too much snare going into my hi-hat mics or too much of my hi-hat signal going into my snare and also with the kick drum and all these drums so I'm right now I use the gain to set levels because I'm using just one mic what would happen I would have to go through each of these microphones and see if how much bleed I'm getting because right now I'm not even talking about using gates or anything I'm, I'm just gain structuring to get the best possible signal without having to do any gating so when I actually go back to mixing my faders these wouldn't remain here I could leave them here and mix from a gain perspective but I'm not much about that I like to mix with my faders instead mixing for my gain parts some people do that they would leave their faders one place and adjust their gains to to show different levels um, also what you would have to take into consideration when setting your gain structure you would also have to look at your polarity switch sometimes you would have to switch certainly if you have a mic on your beta and a mic on the front of your kick drum you could have two different microphones which involve polarity issues so you would have to check the polarity to make sure you're not getting phase cancellation the same situation with your snare if you're using two mics on your snare and you're gonna gain stage em you need to check your polarity switch to make sure that they're not out of phase by 180 degrees otherwise you would get a very thin song and don't care how you EQ that song you would never get the full body of that song also I would say your overheads you need to check your polarity with your overheads if you're micing your thumbs you need to check for your gain on each one so you don't get a lot of bleed because most likely you can get bleed between your high mid tom your mid tom and your low toms plus your overhead so i'm just giving you that information but for gain staging i'm trying to shoot for wrong this area here between minus 20 and minus 30 especially with my kick and my snare which and be the predominant things in the mix and my hi-hats those are going to be the predominant thing my toms and my overheads will be pulled back more from a mixing perspective but for gauge first gain staging I also need to stage it good to get the best possible sound going into the microphone before it goes out the speaker so if you guys like this video hit me up in the next video I'm going to actually test the difference between the live song into the input as opposed to the USB gain staging which if you can see it's a difference of 12 of no 6 dBs so I'm gonna see if I could simulate a match between the input 
the mic line input and the USB input but that is not for this tutorial this tutorial is basically to show you how I gain stage my drums so that I don't have so that I have room when I'm mixing with my faders I could have rooms in case I need to bring up things in the mix that way I don't have to constantly be pushing my faders all the way up to get the proper volume if you if you have the proper gain staging so if you like this video hit me up peace out take care